Anthony Grasso here, bringing you financial news that you could use. In this video, I'm going to do a stock analysis on Enphase Energy. Is this massively overpriced energy stock still worth investing in right now? Well, let's find out together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over a summary of the company. I'm going to go over its product offerings, financials, analyst projections. And then finally, I'm going to give it my buy, hold, or sell recommendation for your both your short-term and long-term growth investors out there. And as always, remember, folks, don't forget to smash that like button down below. Definitely helps. And consider subscribing and hit that notification bell like your daily stock reviews and recommendations from an unbiased source. So let's get right into it. So as always, folks, this video is brought to you by Weeble. It's an online brokerage trading platform where you can buy stocks, options, ETFs, and cryptocurrencies. If you sign up today and deposit any amount, you can get up to 12 free stocks by using my referral link in the description down below. All right, so before we look at any stock, let's figure out what this company does, right? Because before you can even financially say, is this worth investing in or not? So Enphase Energy is a global energy technology company. Now the company delivers smart, easy to use solutions that manage solar generation, storage, and communication on one platform. Now the company's microinverter technology primarily serves the rooftop solar market and produces a fully integrated solar plus storage solutions now geographically it derives a majority of about 80 percent of its revenue directly from the united states all right so let's go ahead and look at some of the fundamentals of enphase energy as of today well the stock currently is trading at 288 dollars and 59 cents a share as of uh the the meltdown on friday it's down 3.7 percent on friday now, it has a market capitalization of roughly $39.1 billion. Now, the first thing I want to look at for this company are the valuation figures for Enphase Energy. Now, looking at these key measures, since the company has positive earnings, uh, the PEG and P ratios I, I consider are the most appropriate valuation measures for this company. The company is currently trading at 197 times earnings. That is very expensive when you compare that to the industry average of 19. Now, when you look at the share price versus the fair value when looking at future cash flows, and, and by, by the way, you use the discounted cash flow model with that, it's trading way above the fair value at only $147 uh, per share. Now, when I look at companies that are disconnected from uh, and are trading at ridiculous multiples, I want to look at its historical growth and the future potential growth of the company. Now, earnings just have grown 56% per year over the past five years. Now, they do have high growth earnings. Their earnings are expected to grow significantly over the next three years, and it forecasted about 24.7% uh, per year. Now, the, the revenues are also high growth as well. Uh, they have about 21.1% per year is it what it's forecast to grow. Now, the company does not have a uh, significantly growing profit margin right now. It's currently uh, net profit margins is 11.7%. That's lower than last year's of 17.3%. Now, if you look at financially, if uh, you know what this company is doing, well, the company is doing okay. Uh, it has a good debt level and the, the net debt to equity ratio, 8.5% is considered satisfactory. And it's been, um, you know, it's been reducing debt. The it had negative shareholder equity uh, five years ago, but now it's positive and has therefore improved. And the debt is well covered by operating cash flow of thirty nine percent, and the interest payments on its debt are well covered by EBIT. So this is financially a great company and a stellar growth in revenues and earnings, and it's projected to be great. Uh, but it is important to note, though, insiders of this company have only sold in the past three months. They're they're flying the coop right now. And anytime I see a bunch of insiders selling, I have to question why. So now let's look at what the analysts specifically say real quick on this company. Well, the, the average consensus is a buy recommendation, and they only put a 12-month a price target of $277. You know, when I look at that, I'm like scratching my head. I'm like, okay, it's currently trading at $288 a share. But you say it's a buy with a price target of 277. How can you have a buy recommendation that it's under uh, what it's currently trading at? But anyways, we're not going to get too involved with that. So, yes, I want to say that the company is fundamentally doing great, but ridiculous premium to the valuation. And let's just briefly go over some of these uh, some of these analyst reports real quick. So the, the street quant ratings 
currently has a buy recommendation. They have a price target of $385 a share. And something funny when I read the street ratings report that uh, kind of made me laugh, I, they, they said specifically, they feel the strengths outweigh the fact that the company is trading at a premium valuation based on their review that its current price compared to such things as earnings and book value. I'm like, okay, well, yeah, well, it's historically done great and, and traded above valuations anyway. So, yeah, we're not even going to consider like uh, that. You know, we're, we're a buy. We love Enphase Energy. Um, the CFRA report also agrees with the street ratings. They have a buy recommendation as well, and they put a price target of $300 a share. And it seems like the Ford Equity Research Report said, oh, you know, hold on. They have a hold recommendation and project that Enphase will perform in line with the market over the next six to 12 months. And by the way, the market is not doing great. We're going into probably a deep recession, uh, most likely. You know, right now it's, you know, technically a recession, but uh, with what's going on in the market, with the Fed, interest rates, inflation, you know, are people actually going to be spending money on expensive solar panels in a deep recession? I think they probably going to, you know, just not hit their markets, you know, hit their mark. But, you know, but uh, let me bring it back over here real quick. So based on, you know, all of that, am I a buy holder sell recommendation on Enphase Energy? Now, here are my thoughts specifically regarding this company. Now, yes, everybody can agree that Enphase is the world leader in micro inverter technology for distributed solar systems. And they are in the midst of a transition right now from just a micro inverter company to selling home energy solutions. You know, they're trying to create this one stop shop for solar installers. They're, they want the they have the micro inverters. They want the energy storage, the EV charging attached to that, and digital services for installers and homeowners to look at their products. Now, I think there's, uh, I, I do like their strategy, yes, because it, it will definitely expand their addressable market while maintaining the core end market of distributed generation. Now, I believe that distributed generation and electrification of demand is definitely increasing right now. But you have to note that, you know, 80% of the revenues are from the U.S. residential alone, but they are expanding internationally as we speak right now. And that's definitely good news for this company now. And also the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022 definitely helps this company. You know, it's position of profit from rapidly expanding solar energy market. Now, if you're a bull on this company, this is what you're going to be saying. Uh, Enphase commands industry leading gross margins and return on invested capital based on its uh, high tech product offerings. A bull will say Enf um, Enphase serves a growing rooftop solar market with an expanding total addressable market as more consumers adopt solar plus storage. But are they going to be doing that in a recession when they, they can't even pay uh, you know, their bills? Now, potential policy incentives to address the climate change right now, because that was the climate change bill, uh, have the ability to meaningfully increase annual solar installations. Yes, there's a potential that there's going to be a significant increase in solar installations going into the future. But will that happen during a recession and a downturn? Leave your comment down below. I definitely want to hear your thoughts on that. Now, if you're a bear regarding this company, you're going to say, well, the end markets are concentrated because the 80% of the 2020 revenue was from the U.S. alone and entirely from the residential sector. So they're 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 putting all their eggs right now. Well, they're expanding, but most of their eggs were just in 80% residential. That's a huge concentration for one revenue source. Now, a, a bear might say there's a potential for current policy in the United States for net metering and fixed customer charges, you know, that can be altered as the penetration rises in those markets. That could harm customer economics and could slow industry growth in general. Now, the company has a volatile history with a limited track record of profitability. It's only been recently that they've shot to the moon. So based on all of that, I am a sell recommendation on Enphase Energy, and I only put a 12 month price target of around $250 a share sustained if they keep their revenue and um, earnings going to the moon like they have in the past 2021, 2022 so far. The, the current 197 times multiple is priced in so many years of earnings and revenue growth. You know, there's not too much upside potential in the stock price. It's just too high.
I could see a 50 times multiple or maybe even a 60 times multiple, but not 197 times multiple. I believe that the current value that the current valuation of this company, I don't even think is uh, is uh, sustainable anymore. Now, even though I'm a generally optimistic about renewable energy under this administration, of course I am. And I foresee solid secular growth in the solar uh, power going forward. But I am not interested in investing into any company that the stock is so far disconnected from the fundamentals. And the stock is. Now, if they miss any quarterly expectations in the future, this stock especially will come crashing down like it's nobody's business. And they're going to be running away from it if they miss any of their targets. Any one. They can't. They have to hit every single one or exceed it. And if they don't, not good news. We're not just talking about a small decline. We're going to be talking about a 40, a 40 point drop in this company. But what are your thoughts? Do you think uh, they're going to exceed their expectations to drive this valuation even farther and farther and farther? Or do you think they already reached their top and it's about to pop? Leave your comments down below. Definitely would like to hear you. So there you have it, folks. And as always, don't forget to smash that like button down below. Definitely helps. And consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell to like your daily stock reviews and recommendations from an unbiased source. Till the next stock update video later today, folks. Ciao.